Hey guys, it's Lonely Paul here at UniqueSquared.com. We're here to talk to you about Isotope's Ozone 5 Advanced Mastering System, which is a plug-in that has uh, been known for being very good in the past, and now Isotope have uh, upgraded it. So let's have a look at this plug-in that does a good job as software in a field traditionally dominated by hardware. Okay, so let's take a look under the hood. As I said, this is a mastering suite, so all the plugins that you're going to see in here, all of the components that make up the mastering suite, are going to be pretty much dynamics oriented, with the exception of your mastering reverb and your uh, stereo imaging and your harmonic exciter. But those are all still components of the process. Uh, each one's really cool. It's, they all have a uh, very dedicated display, so if you click them all up, you'll notice that each one has its own sort of window and dialogue that's very detailed. With the EQ, my favorite feature is the fact that it actually has two modes, uh, the analog and the digital. And so you can kind of toggle between a classic EQ and a very modern EQ, which I think is a pretty exciting feature for a mastering reverb, especially one that's contained inside of a plugin. Mastering reverb is uh, something that, again, you know, this is one of those things where you're going to want to be careful how much you use it, but every once in a while you want just a little bit of extra boom in your mix or a little bit of air in it that didn't make it out of the final ca case, and this is available to do that. It's very easily laid out. In addition to the presets, it's got basic modes that are clearly toggled on the left from room to arena, and you've got quick and easy access controls for your pre-delays, your early reflections. It's really well-decked out reverb, and it sounds great in the mix as well. Uh, next up, We've got the Harmonic Exciter, which uh, for those of you who have been around long enough to know about or think about such things, you'll probably remember the Aphex Harmonic Exciter, or Oral Exciter, that was uh, so uh, well loved by Aphex Twin. And this is a similar kind of effect. It uh, uses harmonic distortion to boost your low and top ends and keep your mids sort of crispy but under control. Uh, a little goes a long way here, but it's a really cool thing. It's got a great display. Very. Uh, dynamic sort of presence and you can break up all your frequencies right there. So very cool little, very cool little device. Sounds great too. Certainly not the least uh, important control on the mastering suite is actually our dynamic suite. What we have here is a, a multiband compressor. It's fully adjustable. It's got a great little control feature set. Everything is visible right there at the top and the built-in limiter, compressor, and gate each have their own control dialog. Really easy to figure out right there. And as I've mentioned, if there's ever a control that you don't understand, just let your mouse hover over it and the computer will tell you what it does and how it works. So in addition to being affordable for novices, this will teach a novice and you can't complain about that. Coming up after that, we've got stereo imaging. If you're not familiar with stereo imaging, it's sort of uh, how you adjust the width of the mix after the fact. Like, yes, you have your panning in your mixer, but uh, you end up with, with, the, with the mastering process, sort of controlling how things cross over between speakers and subs and all that jazz, and that sort of happens here. Uh, it's a very versatile little thing, simple enough, all graphic, easy to look at, visualizer's really cool. It's a great little, great little stereo imaging, all very standard. Post equalizer, catching those final little things that you might have missed along the way and uh, just picking up things that might be squashing too hard coming out of the limiter or whatever. Again, as versatile as the other one, full featured display, very pretty. Not quite as uh, broken down into the analog or digital, but it has a number of other options sort of available to it. And finally, the maximizer, which is a limiter uh, it comes with a number of modes. They've improved the algorithms on all of the devices, but one of the, uh, much, uh, the most talked about features in the new Ozone 5 suite is actually this IRC3 mode for the limiter, which sounds uh, fantastic. So uh, let's actually switch over so that you can hear all these guys in action and go through some of the presets so that we can hear what this thing does. Um, with the presets on, on Ozone 5, You'll see that they're all sort of broken down. You've got your simple sort of technical versions where some of them will be as simple as four band master through a 12AX7 tube, like this guy here. So you can get sort of a simulated tube warmth into your mix. Just kind of punches up the mids, keeps things where they are, but, but you know, very excited in the middle there. And then you've got your general purpose master type effects and your CD master type effects. All these guys will turn out different results as you bring them up. And it's sort of up to you to determine what you're going for with your mix. One of the things about mastering is it's, it's a field where you, you want to know what you're going for with the product that you've got to, to reach it there. But this really helps you find your way through it. 
As you go down, you can find the genre specific settings. I don't know that this is applicable to what we're listening to now, but we even got a country master setting. And then you've got a number of different dance settings. We've got this dance, dance club master. Uh, that's focused on crisp drums uh, and is clearly beating up on the processor, but uh, it, it you know does what you'd expect it to do. You've got a drum and bass breaks master. And you'll hear it. all these changes are really subtle, so you're going to want to sit in front of some nice monitors when you're mastering and, and listen. But you can hear that sort of picked up on the low end, and the mids are hitting a little bit harder. Things are a little bit more attack oriented with the way the compression is working. Uh, the one that I've actually found that I think works really well for this particular number that we're listening to of my selections of audio wallpaper is the Electro and Dance Rock Master with EQ and Exciter. And uh, I think with a little bit of pumping, this one really just works great for mostly the stuff that I do because I'm very kick and clap oriented. Um, but, you know, as with all things, mastering is something that is dependent on who you are and what you're going for. Okay guys, so that's the Ozone 5 Advanced Mastering System. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, product from Isotope here. I'm not going to touch whether or not I think that you should master at home or master in a professional studio. What I do think is that there's a lot of young producers who do do everything from the ground up at home now anyway. And with people turning things around and releasing a beat port like they do or mastering compilations for smaller labels, this is a really great solution and it's a really affordable solution for a task that is traditionally very expensive. Um, <clears throat> so give it a whirl, download the demo at Isotope, and uh, in the meantime, check out our Facebook page, visit us over at our YouTube page, or follow us on Twitter, and always remember, be you, be unique at uniquesquared.com.